Marriage material is something you just don't find at a bar or nightclub. Most party people like the mindset to settle down, even as they keep their eyes peeled for that one and only Mr. and Mrs. Right. In fact, the nightlife scene, which deals in decadence and debauchery, are the places where relationships go to die. Couples who are actually in love know this. That's why they always stand apart at clubs, guarding each other from the pitfalls of sexually frustrated single people. Notice how couples are always the first to go home? Conversely, the end of a relationship almost always brings out the late night club renew. Broke up with a clingy boyfriend? Grab your gal pals, it's party time. The future mother of your children realizes she'd rather not be? That means a night out with the friends that she always hated. But while nightlife offers an escape from being tied down and often results in getting tied up to things like bedposts, clubs hardly set the stage for the start of a romance at least not the kind that lasts beyond a few good lays. This begs a sex in the city sort of question. Can you really find that special someone at a bar in between a stream of kamikaze shots? It would seem not, even if there's a genuine attraction to the person you bumped into on the dance floor. It'll be difficult to take anything seriously. After all, it would be naive to think that you were the first to stick your tongue down his or her throat in the VIP room. Fulfillment? Forget it. Those looking for long-term relationships in the party scene are only setting themselves up for a downer. As for me, I'm getting sick of it all. The childish head games, the anxiety over possible pregnancies, the chlamydia. So for those like me who sincerely yearn for an end to mornings where you wake up next to a person you'd never have fucked in the first place if it weren't for an overconsumption of alcohol and maybe some molly, here's a clue. There's a place where singles worth hooking up with can be found on a weekly basis, and it ain't no club. It's the supermarket on Monday nights. I'm serious. Young professionals typically do their groceries after work at the beginning of the week. Don't believe me? Visit the supermarket in a metropolitan neighborhood on any given Monday and you'll find a deli that doubles as Pickup Central. Number five. Number six. Think about it. What packs more sexual innuendo than asking for a nice cut of ham or beef? I'm hot and bothered just thinking about that moment when somebody is given a slice of lunch meat for a taste test. Oh boy, I need a sandwich.